Hi everyone, my name is Simone Brownlee, and here's what I say. Alright y'all, I'm just gonna jump into it. I know that in my last video I told everyone with great confidence that I was ready to be consistent and I was going to be uploading videos on a regular basis. And then where have I been for what the past three or four months? I completely understand if y'all lost faith in me. However, when I uploaded that video back in January, I had no idea the whirlwind my life was about to be swept up in. So when I uploaded this video on January 16th, I had no idea that just a few days later I was going to get engaged and I was going to start wedding planning. Then I was going to start home shopping. Obviously these are all good life changes, however I just needed a minute to step back and kind of focus on those things before I could jump back into making videos. So a lot of people commented on my last video asking me how I like living in Raleigh, what are the pros and cons, am I still enjoying it or do I regret moving here? So I just wanted to answer some of those questions. First of all, I just wanna to say to everyone who lives in the Raleigh area who commented on my last video welcoming me, thank you so much. This is exactly what I meant about the Southern hospitality. Everyone has been so welcoming since I've been here and that has never changed. So I got a few comments talking about how people drive in North Carolina and when I uploaded my last video, I think I said something about I haven't seen what people are talking about when people don't know how to drive. Let me just say that has completely changed in the past few months. I have witnessed more chaotic driving than I ever have in my entire life since coming down to North Carolina. And I think I can sum it up as a lack of depth perception. <laughs> so just imagine you're driving like 70 miles per hour down a straightaway and there's somebody waiting to turn across traffic and they think that they have enough time to get across that intersection before you're going to reach the intersection. And they're wrong almost every single time. And then the second thing, if there's not enough space for you to make it all the way through an intersection before the light changes, you don't drive. But people do that here constantly, constantly. The light is green and you can't drive because all four lanes, not one, not two, all four lanes are blocked by cars that drove into the intersection when they had the green or yellow light and are now sitting there when the light is red and they have nowhere to go because all four lanes their way are blocked as well. Wild, absolutely wild to me. So PSA to all North Carolina drivers, I love you all. Southern hospitality is too real, but y'all got to stop pulling into intersections where there's nowhere to go and don't turn across traffic when we're flying at you and there's not enough time. That's all I have to say there. Still love y'all. So someone asked, how were you able to make friends after relocating? Um, it's definitely a lot easier now than it was in 2020 when we were mid pandemic and everything was shut down. But I will say um, I joined some online networking groups because eventually networking groups that are online end up having in-person meetups. So there was one where it was kind of like like-minded women and we ended up scheduling a meetup in our region. And then I also tried Bumble BFF. Bumble is not just for dating y'all. There's a whole Bumble BFF subcategory of the app specifically for women who are either new in town and want to make friends or not new in town but just want to expand their circle or meet new people. And so I did that and I met a couple of cool people. Someone asked where else have you wanted to live besides North Carolina. Everywhere? No, just kidding. There was a long period of time, like I mentioned, that I wanted to live in California, specifically in Los Angeles or the San Francisco area. There was also a period of time where I really wanted to live in Washington, D.C. because I thought I was going to be doing like public relations and a political forum and working with politicians in Washington, D.C., Olivia Pope style, obviously but that ended up not being my journey or my dream. Next month in June is actually one year since I moved down to Raleigh. It's crazy to think that time has gone by that quickly. I couldn't have imagined it would be going by quite as fast as it is. But if you have any other questions about my move to Raleigh, my experience in Raleigh, please feel free to put them in the comments below. If you have any questions at all, I'll probably film an updated Q&A or facts about me video. So I'd love to have any questions y'all have down below. So, all right, y'all, I'm keeping this one brief. I just wanted y'all to know that I am still alive 
alive and I am still making videos. I will be back with some additional content coming up. If you wanna see more, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back soon. All right, y'all, bye.